Hi, I'm Gok with Brickhouse Security, and today we're here to unbox the Flash GPS Reporter, which I conveniently have in front of me right here. The top of the box depicts an image of the unit itself, along with a quick start guide. Uh, let's open it right up. As you can see, the Flash GPS Reporter is nestled nicely in the box, which we can remove very easily. Here's the GPS logger itself. We'll just put that aside here for a minute. And then let's open the box right up and see what else we have inside. As you can see, first thing we can pull out here is the actual USB cable. Now this will allow you to connect the device up to your computer to charge it or to download the data that it has recorded. Secondly, we have the car charger, which is great for on-the-go on power. And finally, we have a mini disc that has the software on board so you can actually view the information that you recorded onto the unit. I'm gonna close the box up, put it aside here, and let's look at the Flash GPS Reporter itself. As you can see, it's a very tiny little device that can be hidden virtually anywhere inside a vehicle or inside a backpack or a package. Whatever item it, that is you're tracking, this will conveniently fit inside of it. And one thing to keep in mind is never surround it completely by metal because satellite signals cannot penetrate metal. So putting it in the trunk of a car is probably the worst place you can put it. Um, now let's take a look at it a little bit more closely. As you can see, uh, this is a GPS logger, so you do not need a monthly service plan for this. This will record data, and in order to see where the device has traveled, hence the person you're tracking or the package you're tracking has traveled, it will record it, and then you have to remove it from whatever the asset or the vehicle or the person is and transfer the data onto a computer. Now, there's a couple of simple little things to point out here. Firstly, we have the power button. This will turn your device on or off. And then we have two LED indicators. One will indicate battery levels and will light up red actually when you're charging the unit. And the second will indicate uh, the satellite signal and if the device is actually receiving a signal. On the side right here, on the bottom part, we have an actual little rubber stopper that covers uh, the USB connection. Now this obviously will allow you to A, charge the unit and B, transfer data. And then on the bottom we have what's like a rubber sole. This is so that if you're actually traveling with the unit in your car and you have it sitting on your dashboard it won't slide around. And then the next step is we're going to open it up and I'll show you where the battery is and that's uh, simply done. Let me just get a penny I have here. So you can just do this with a coin. It's a quarter turn and that will unlock it. And then when you turn it over, the little screw will drop down. So that will allow you to easily slide it open and that reveals the battery. Uh, most of the time you're not going to have to remove the battery, but just in case you're getting an extended battery pack or you have multiple batteries that you're keeping charged and in stock, uh, this will allow you to swap the battery out. So let's go ahead and close that back up. You just press the screw back down, take our penny, Turn it a quarter turn, that locks it back up so the battery lid will not open. Put your penny back in your pocket. And that is the Flash GPS Reporter. Now in order to actually view the data, you do have to actually load up the software onto your computer and this will utilize Google Earth uh, to be able to view the recorded information plotted out on a map. So once the device has gone around on its travels, whether it's a vehicle, a package, or a person, you simply retrieve the unit, plug it up to your computer, and have the software do the rest. You'll be able to see exactly where the asset, person, or vehicle has gone. This has been the unboxing of the Flash GPS Reporter. Thank you for watching.